the truth is back. As you all saw on the clip, that was Errol Spence revealing that his eye is healed. Well, at the very least, he do not have to keep it covered. Errol Spence previously revealed that he doesn't want any tuna fight. Only the big fish. Because as he put it, he's the big shark. And that he wants Ugas next. Which, if Errol Spence is 70 to 80% of the fighter he used to be, that's still a deadly Errol Spence. Because we know he's not going to be 100% after an eye injury and a two-year layoff. Nevertheless, Errol Spence is not Manny Pacquiao. Yes, Pacquiao is more gifted. However, Errol Spence excels where Manny Pacquiao lacks. Errol Spence is more skilled with better defense, with better fundamentals, where he makes it very hard for his opponents to counter him. I mean, Errol Spence jab alone will make a difference in the Ugas fight. Nevertheless, that's looking too far ahead for the meantime. I suggest that Errol Spence take at least twice the time that's recommended by the doctors in order to make sure his eye healed fully. I mean, what's the rush to train, to prepare, to spar, to fight? He should take twice to triple the time that's recommended in order to ensure that he's going to be A-OK -okay moving forward. More importantly, is all thanks to the Most High. Alhamdulillah that Errol Spence is nice and safe. Furthermore, Errol Spence also gave his reaction to Oscar Valdez cheating by taking PEDs, where he stated, quote, let it be me. What Bernard Hopkins gotta say about this shit? Something ain't right, laughing emojis. And that's exactly the million dollar question. How come Hopkins never said anything about Oscar Valdez cheating and being allowed to fight on PEDs. Hello? Is anybody home? Where is Hopkins? He is nowhere to be found. Just like I told you guys on my previous video of Errol Spence responding to Bernard Hopkins, accusing him of faking an eye injury, which I'ma leave the link for that video in the comment section below. What you guys have to realize, sadly, Bernard Hopkins done turned into the champion of the sellouts respectfully that's the best way i could put it he has a green light on any fighter on the coincidental list ready to criticize right or wrong and a red light a trespassing zone on any fighter on the hope list even if they completely in the wrong even if they lie duck cheat hopkins is programmed where in his eyes they can't do no wrong he's banned to talk about them since their hope insurance is too good they got the complexion for the connection to get the ultimate protection, even from criticism. So Hopkins accused Errol Spence of faking an eye injury. Then Errol Spence provided the proof to ESPN, so on and so forth. However, Hopkins never came out to retract his statements. Then when Oscar Valdez cheated, where he lied and blamed testing positive for PEDs on Errol T., Come to find out, there is no herbal tea or any tea in the world that has the drug Funtermine in it. To make matter worse, Oscar Valdez failed to submit the herbal tea to Vada. He never submitted the herbal tea to Vada in order to verify his innocence because he's clearly guilty and lying through his teeth. With that being stated, would you believe we still waiting on Hopkins, the hero of the day, to say something till this day? I mean, the double standards are unreal. So you telling me, Errol Spence receives an eye injury. Hopkins came out of the mud and accused him of lying, faking an eye injury. Errol Spence then provided proof, but Hopkins never came out and apologized. Then ironically, when Oscar Valdez clearly cheated and was busted lying with his herbal tea made up story, where he never submitted the herbal tea to Vada, would you believe Hopkins never came out and said anything about Oscar Valdez? In fact, he's as quiet as a church mouse. Even Oscar De La Hoya pulled the COVID card and ended up getting Holyfield knocked out. Few days later, Oscar De La Hoya is performing shallow at a karaoke bar. Just like Tyson Fury pulled Cap 19, few days later, he was at a bar drinking without a mask on. And the list goes on and on and on from Teofimo Lopez, so on and so forth. But like I said before, Bernard Hopkins, he was quiet as a church mouse. 
He had no criticism. He did not question not a single fighter on the hope list. However, the moment a fighter on the coincidental list had an injury, all of a sudden, Bernard Hopkins went from a church mouse to the loudest preacher in the room. We all know what time it is. With the facts being laid out, drop your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe below, and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Ak TV. Peace, and I'm on to the next one. What was your thoughts on Hopkins hinting that Earl Spence may be faking an eye injury? I think that, I really think nothing about it, but I think that, I think that most people make a statement their closest, their closest uh, taste to reality is themselves. And so I think that maybe it was something he would have done. So I'm saying, because I mean, how, you know, cause from a hypothetical perspective, right, you cannot, I mean, you can say what you want to say, but at the same time, I think that, man, this question, when you talk about other people, you don't know them, but the assumption is that the closest reference we have to reality is itself. Meaning right. that maybe that was something that you probably would have did. I mean, I'm not saying he would have or wouldn't. I'm saying that to say that doesn't say anything about Earl Spence. I didn't say more about Bernard Hopkins.